get started with the analysis the first question is two statements are given and then we have to see which statement is correct or which statement is the correct representation all these things so statement one is interest income from the deposits in infrastructure investment trust invits it is talking about invits now why the question is asked from invits so that's very interesting invits on the date of april 11 2023 it was in news also there was a major announcement done by nse nse national stock exchange okay basically first of all let me introduce what invits are so there are two types of additional bonds you can say one is rits reits right real estate and another is invits if you are purchasing rits you are investing in the real estate if you are purchasing invit you are purchasing uh, you are investing in the infrastructure so whatever infrastructural development is taking place in the country you are investing in that by purchasing invits how to purchase invits invits are normally purchased as you purchase share from the secondary market okay till now three invits were are there till present date three invits are there not many invits are there but there was till april 11 2023 there was no index for invit what is index any i see index is what index is a comparison based scenario what index investment is index what index does is it takes into account several stocks hmm, or several bonds and then based on it if you are investing in the index fund so index fund what is index fund going to do it is going to segregate your payment and it is going to invest your payment into different stocks for which you have purchased the index so if you are purchasing index for invits which was launched on 11th april 2023 so your payment will be segregated and invested into three types of invits okay that's what index funds are okay so there was before 11th of april 2023 there was no index fund for invits there was no mutual fund for invits no etf for invits okay but on april 11th still no etf is there but on april 11th index fund was launched for it fine that's why they asked the question from it so now the statement one is interest income from the deposits in infrastructure investment trust distributed to the invest investors is exempted from tax but dividend is taxable again recently government made the interest as taxable income this was also in the news i think 30 40 days back it happened huh? so interest is taxable okay that means this statement is wrong it is saying interest is exempted okay and you get interest from the bonds not the dividend statement two is invits are recognized as borrowers what is the meaning of borrowers borrowers means debt instrument borrowers are debt instrument bonds debentures these are borrowers okay they are termed as borrowers see two types of instruments are there if you are purchasing the stock you are investing in the company you are becoming the shareholder or you can say partner of the company you are not lending out your money but in case of debt instruments such as bonds you are basically lending out your money and there you get the interest so invits are debt instruments they are the borrowers according to sarfasi act of 2002 they have given the full form of sarfasi act so as to confuse you scrutinization and reconstruction of financial assets and enforcement of security interest act 2002 okay so statement two is correct statement one is wrong so which means option d statement one is incorrect and statement two is correct understood mm -hmm.